and this is part five of the latest custom tank painting series by myself, Alcomoto. So this is the first time you've tuned in. Obviously this is part five, there's part four, three, two, and one if you look in the back catalogue on how to uh, prep and get the tank to at least this level so far. But we've still plenty of work to do to get to the finished product. So backtracking to uh, part four, you can see where we put the clear coat over everything we've done so far. Now that's been flattered down this morning in the garage. And as you can see, the tedious task of masking everything up, ready for the line work around the panels and uh, the black band we have around the tank. So up to now, we have a base coat silver with a gold fleck on top. We've got the candy ruby red paint over that. We've got the gold sparkle in the black and we've got the gun metal in the pattern work, uh, which again is on the fairing. Now we're going to concentrate on the tank up to now and then we'll move on to the fairing once we're happy with the line work on this then we're going to replicate that onto the fairing which we've done so far so we'll move on to those we've still got the mud guards to do or the fenders if you're from the us of a uh, in the later stages of this series but we're going to concentrate obviously on the tank to show you guys how to get to this uh, step so far okay so what we're going to do now is use the airbrush and we're going to overlay the pattern work now in a rose gold so we're just going to see what that looks like because i was going to go for the dark metallic gold uh, but then when i come across the rose gold in the catalog it looks really rich paint and i think it's going to work so well against the ruby red and the black so let's go ahead with the airbrush and get cracking on these lines Okay, so my initial reaction, looking at that against the test piece on the uh, Ruby Red is, I'm not overly happy, which is why, of course, I always use two or three paints. I don't think the colour's going to match. I really thought it was going to work, but it's rose gold can come in different colours, and this one's just a little bit too light for me. So we're going to use that as a base coat, and then go over with a base uh, metallic dark gold in course, uh, of course and then that should give us the uh, definition that I'm after. So it's a matter, I mean, it can be a bit of a trial anyway with colours, and it doesn't matter with that, with it being a base coat, so we're gonna use that as a base and put this on. It's gonna really look a lot richer, I think, which is a shame, really. Uh, it did look good in this tub, but it's not gonna work for me, and that's what it's all about if you sort of experiment it sometimes with paint. You get the idea of a colour. If it's not working for you, then don't go with it any further. So I think we're gonna go with the option one. Okay, so now we've got the masking off. You've just got to flat down. I'm using a thousand grit paper just to take the edge off where the masking's be. It's nice and easy. Uh, we did put a, a clear coat in the airbrush just over the gold, just to protect it while we're flattened down so we don't take any of the colour out. But all you're doing is just taking off where you peel the masking lines, you have a very, very fine edge along it. So. It's just important to take that off before you blow any, any of the black which we're going to do back into the candy. So just very lightly across all the edges, make sure you get all them nibs out. Seen it 
now I'm actually quite happy now I've remasked off before I put a, a bit of line tape, the three mil line tape through the center and then blew the shadow in. But now I've redone this in the brighter gold and peeled that off, I'm actually quite liking this thicker band around here. So I think I'm going to leave that thicker band and just redo these in the three mil and then blow the black into the uh, honeycomb. I think that then should look fantastic. So you can see now we've got the three mil tape and all we're doing is narrowing the band down and then blending the honeycomb into the candy on top so it leaves us with a nice sharp three mil outline with the gold band with a bit of look. So just two or three light coats with the airbrush should suffice for that and then when that goes off just a little bit of clear over and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay so we're at the final stage now so I am really happy with the way this is turned out. It's took a little bit of thought going into it because originally if you just go back to the last step I was going to narrow these bands down but I think leaving one narrow band which is about four mil on the bottom uh, about 10 mil on the top and 3 mil around the uh, honeycomb there really breaks the tank up and there's no need to have anything else on the top here we've got the Willow G skull cap in black is going to go on there so that is enough to break that up so I'm quite happy with that we've just blown a little bit of red sparkle along these edges as well just to give a colour change as it goes into the honeycomb so it's really going to pop when the clear coat goes on so we're ready for the final clear on this now so we're going to mix that up put some music on and you guys enjoy putting the final coat to this and then after that the only thing we've got to do is just to polish up uh, depending on how the clear coat lies. Uh, we've always when you're painting at home as well in the garage always either damp the floor blow it out uh, just to stop any dust that's above the roof or anything else just coming down on you. Um, so I'm going to get this garage up to 70 degrees put the extractor fan on and then shoot the clear on.
Okay, so I mean that is looking absolutely beautiful. So what we've got here is we started off with the silver coarse base coat. Okay, so that is, and I'll just show you over here. From Specialist Paints, that is the base metallic silver, and it's in a coarse. And again, mix two to one with D thinners. Always keep plenty of D thinners in stock. Okay, custom paints, D thinner. Base black. These are the important ones you need. And I always use when I do my top coats, wherever we are, that's the wrong tin, uh, the 2K Show Clear, if I can find it. So the Show Clear I use is a fantastic paint. And 10 minutes it's touch dry, you keep your garage up to around 20 degrees. So the handy thing that I keep on the wall one Harley Davidson gauge, and you can see there we are touching around 20 degrees, so it keeps it lovely and warm. Um, I'm using for heating one of these uh, contractors, industrial gas heaters, and with these you don't get. I had the Jet Air blow heater before, but you constantly it was getting in your eyes. It was too much when you used to leave it on for 20 minutes to warm the garage. And so, you know, it was just not good enough to work in, quite dangerous as well. So I've done away with that and got one of these. It's beautiful. It warms the place up in 10 minutes. It's double garage this, 20 by 20. And it's ideal, especially in the winter for painting. So always make sure you've got it warming up before you lay on, especially with specialist paints anyway, uh, or else you're just going to have a lot of problems. Okay, so bringing us back closer to the tank. We had the silver course. Uh, metallic paint on the whole of the tank to start we put on the masking layers you can do it both ways you could lay the whole tank in candy red first and then do your uh, patterns um, I changed the way I did it with this one and it seems to work quite well uh, for the speed process uh, especially so once you've marked out your design obviously I had the honeycomb with the stencil that I used so you mark out your design, mask off the whole lot, and then put on your stencil. The thing is then, what you have to do is, once you've done your line work, or whatever this is going to be, where this border was, you're always left with a slight ridge underneath. So what you have to do then is blow a clear coat. Now this tank's had about three clear coats throughout the process before it's final. Once you've done that, and the reason you do that, is so you don't get your lines here, you'd feel a little bit of a, a ridge along everywhere you've worked, so you have to get those out. So by putting a clear coat on, you're protecting the paint and what you've done underneath before you flat that down, using from anything from 800 to 1000 grit to finish before you carry on any more work. So again, this one has been done three times to get rid of all the ridge lines along here before we've carried on with the process. So again, a little bit of a thicker line around here, around about 10 millimeter, three mil line tape okay so your line tape always make sure you get a decent line tape these ones are from j tape and they're really good for curves and corners that's three millimeter and i also have got the blue which is the 3m tape again off ebay well-known auction site uh, so always make sure you've got plenty of that in stock Taping when you're taping, don't use any normal masking tape. Use your painter's uh, tape there, which is low tack. And again, you can get that off a well-known auction site or from your local hardware store. So painter's tape is low tack. It won't harm the paint underneath when you peel it off. Very important. Okay, so after that then, we've put a little bit of pearl, uh, sparkle pearl. On top of this, we've got sparkle gold on top of the candy. I would just pick that out there with the light on it. On here we have sparkle gold, a little bit of copper and sparkle red around the edges. You can see the tones changing in the light. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's put a little bit of light on that and then see if we can get a bit more of the color coming out. Okay, as you can see in the black 
there we've got the gold coming through so away from the sunlight it's going to look black and in the sun we've got that amazing sparkle gold in the black there and you can see the colors now there's the red around the edge you just see that now in the light and then the gold and copper in the middle it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a little universe underneath the uh, the pattern. The bar and shield, a little bit of highlight blown in over the top with just the black. The bar and shield was the original base coat silver and then blown over lightly with the black base coat and then peeled off to reveal it underneath. So there's no decals on it here at all. I don't like using decals and painting over. Okay folks, so that about wraps it up. Part five of the custom tank paint series. This is Kyle's custom tank. So what we'll do is I'll carry on and do the rest of the work on the fenders and everything else. Um, if you wanna see some of that process on the channel, drop me a comment. I can always put that on as well. Otherwise I'll just crack on and then show you guys when this uh, set is complete. But for now guys, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Many thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoy watching my paintwork, look back in the back catalogue for previous paintworks. I think I've actually put it into a folder on the channel. Um, so there's a set there of all the ones I've done in the past. Uh, but until then, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Look out for the ride outs and everything else with the channel uh, with Alcamoto. Please like the video and Comment if you dare. But for now, Alcamoto is signing out.